Human beings have been making up stories and theories to explain the stars since prehistoric times, and the study of the stars have played a crucial role in the development of science and technology throughout history, inspiring everything from calculus to clockwork. But the idea that the stars might be suns in their own right, unimaginably distant from Earth, is a surprisingly recent one. And it's only in the past century or so that astronomers have really got to grips with the true variety of stars. In this video, we are going to discuss 15 facts about stars. So before starting the video, first and foremost, a big thumbs up for the video. If you're new here, welcome. Be sure to subscribe and click the bell icon to be updated whenever a new video is uploaded. 1. Are we stardust? Absolutely. If it weren't for generations of stars, the universe would certain nothing more than the light elements that formed in the Big Bang. Everything else, from the calcium in our bones to the carbon in our DNA, ultimately comes from stars. 2. What color can stars be? The color of any star is a mix of different wavelengths of light, ranging from high energy, short wavelength, blue and violet light emitted by the hottest materials, to low energy, longer, wavelength red and orange emitted by cooler gases, while stars represent an even balance between the two. 4. Why do stars twinkle? They don't. Their light gets distorted by churning gases in Earth's atmosphere. Hence why telescopes are built on mountains, above the bulk of the air. We only notice the twinkling as stars are tiny points of light. Planets don't twinkle, as they're close enough to appear as tiny disks. 5. Which is the farthest star that we can see? Ignoring occasional flare-ups such as supernovas, the farthest star we can reliably see with the naked eye is the obscure V762, Cassiopeiae, which is just visible under dark skies and is around 16,300 light-years away. 6. What is Neutron Star? Neutron stars are extreme stellar remnants formed after a giant star goes supernova. When the star runs out of fuel, it collapses under its own weight, creating a huge shockwave that compresses the core from the size of our Sun to roughly the size of London. 7. How are stars named? The brightest stars have proper names that often originate with ancient Greek or Arabic astronomers. For instance, Sirius, the brightest star in the night sky, has a name derived from the Greek for scorcher. 8. Can we tell if the stars we see have died? Stars take millions or billions of years to move through their life cycles, but the lights from the stars in our galaxy usually depends a few thousand years at most traveling to Earth. On the law of averages, then, it's pretty unlikely that a star will have died in the intervening time, but there are some exceptions, e.g. Eta Carini might have already exploded. 9. How can a star burn with no oxygen in space? Blame astronomers for the misleading word burn. Stars aren't going through the same kind of combustion we see on Earth. Instead, stars feed off their hydrogen fuel by forcing individual nuclei together until they transmute into helium and eventually other elements in a process known as nuclear fusion. 10. What exactly is a white dwarf? White dwarfs are the super-hot, burnout cores of stars like the Sun, exposing when a dying red giant star sheds its outer layers. With no nuclear fusion left to support it, the core collapses under its own weight until it is about the size of Earth, but typically still contains roughly half a Sun's mass of material. 11. What's the difference between a nova, supernova, and hypernova? Novas are relatively small explosions in double star systems. They come about when a white dwarf's intense gravity tugs materials away from the companion star. Gas piles up around the white dwarf and eventually becomes dense enough to ignite in a burst of nuclear fusion. 12. Where is Betelgeuse? With a diameter large enough to swallow up Jupiter's orbit around the Sun, Betelgeuse is the closest supergiant star to Earth, 640 light-years away in the Orion constellation. Nearing the end of its life, it has developed a series of internal shells, creating energy from the fusion of various elements, increasing its energy output to the equivalent of 120,000 suns. 13. How many stars are there in the universe? Brace yourself for some big numbers. Astronomers believe there are probably somewhere between 10 sextillion, 21 zeros, and 1 septillion, 24 zeros stars in total. 
That's based on recent discoveries that there are a lot more tiny, faint stars lurking in giant galaxies that previously thought and some educated guesswork on the total number of galaxies themselves. 14. If we poured a giant bucket of water on a star, could we extinguish it? Funnily enough, it would probably have the opposite effect. The ferocity of nuclear fusion in a star depends on the temperature and pressure in its core. So if we added a huge amount of extra mass to the star in the form of all that hydrogen and oxygen, we'd increase the star's mass and central pressure, in turn making it shine brighter. 15. How is the distance to a star calculated? The only way to measure a star's distance directly uses parallax, measuring the tiny difference in a star's apparent position in the sky where we look at it from different points of view, on opposite sides of Earth's orbit around the Sun. This is it for today's video. Please click the like button if you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more updates. Thank you for watching.